Matthew Shadow of the Blessed Virgin Mary on Saturday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. <coughs> so on Saturdays we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. We know that uh, she was chosen by God uh, to be uh, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the mother of God, his own mother. He chose her to be his mother. And he also made it possible for her to be, uh, and uh, he, he permitted that she would be uh, also the mother of all of us who are children of God, the adopted children of God. And her desire, of course, is that all of us uh, be with her in heaven. This is what Our Lady wants, and she works very hard and prays and intercedes that we might all save our souls and go to heaven and uh, be, in, be, be at home with her. She wants all her children home with her and her home in heaven. And so she does uh, uh, pray and intercede for us and, uh, and sinners also. Uh, she's the one that obtains them the grace uh, to convert and to uh, amend their lives. And so we need to pray to her that we might amend our lives and give up our sins, give up our bad habits and, uh, and uh, conquer ourselves. And those that are good, she wants us to become better. She wants us to say, yes, I want to, I want to do, do more for our Lord. I want to become holier. I want to become more like him. And so it's our, also Our Lady who gives the grace uh, to increase the holiness of those who are serving her and serving God and to make them better servants and more faithful servants and more trustworthy servants that uh, they can increase in holiness and in grace. And even the dead, and we know she is concerned about the dead, bringing them into heaven, those that died in our Lord, those that died in the state of grace. She doesn't want to leave them languishing in purgatory. So every Saturday, today, we know she will go down to purgatory and bring souls out and bring them into heaven, uh, maybe ahead of when they, when they should have got to go there. So she will intercede for them as well. So we want to always have confidence in Our Lady and trust in her. And remember that our Lord is allowed us uh, to have his mother to be also our mother and so we must go to her in our troubles and our trials our temptations and say yes we want to <coughs> overcome these and we know mother mary that with your help we can overcome all the evils of the world and we can ourselves become good and we should try to always live as children that are pleasing to our mother so we want to uh, say if we're we want to do what our, our Blessed Mother wants us to do, or we don't want to do what she doesn't want us to do. We want to say, well, Mother Mary doesn't want me doing this, so I better not do it. I'd rather do something that would be pleasing to her. And so let's ask for her grace to always try to please her in all that we do. In the name of the Father, and the Son.